Good to see you this morning, David. First, tell us a little bit about how big of a problem this disease is and how much of a breakthrough your drug is. So it is a relatively rare disease. We're talking about about 6,000 treated patients uh, worldwide and another 6,000 that are non-treated yet uh, globally. So it is not a, not a very scarce. On the other hand, it's a very expensive drug and the treatment is cost over a billion dollars a year uh, globally. What we are able to offer is a new way of making the enzyme that can treat these patients using our novel expression system for making proteins, using plant cells, in this case, carrot cells, to make the protein in a much more efficient way. It's an interesting manufacturing process. Talk a little bit about how it allows you to undercut some of your competitors. Absolutely. Uh, using plant cells is dramatically less expensive, both in the capex for setting up a facility, is the magnitude of water less expensive, and also the ongoing production of the, of the, the drug, the enzyme, is much less expensive. Uh, the growth media, the handling it requires. Plant cells, just like the plant organism itself, is much more robust and sustainable than using mammalian cells like uh, hamster cells or a certain human fibrosarcoma cell line, which is used currently used by the industry. So the FDA has just approved this. Are you expecting now European approval and from other countries as well? We are in the process of regulatory approvals in uh, different geographies around the world, including Europe, Israel, uh, Brazil, and others. And of course, this is led together with our commercial partner, Pfizer, and we're working together in, all, in order to obtain approvals in these markets and in additional markets as well that we intend to apply for in order to be able to supply the drug to patients worldwide. And now that the plant cell system has been validated, do you expect other types of projects like this one that perhaps may get shorter approval time? Absolutely. We really hope and believe that having the first drug approved is really the proof of concept to our platform technology in general. And hopefully this will be really the tip of the iceberg of what we can do using this technology, making a whole new generation of therapeutic proteins uh, using this plant cell technology. We have several of them already in uh, development. We have one who've already started clinical development and the others who, which we believe will start clinical trials soon. And being able to make proteins using this technology hopefully will be a breakthrough in the way therapeutic proteins are made today.